space artifact from the past may hold an answer for tomorrow. NASA commissioned a team of experts to inspect an umbilical connection from an Apollo-era spacecraft to help in developing the umbilical release mechanism for the new crew exploration vehicle. And by learning from the past, uh, we can apply it to the future and improve it with modern uh, technology and processes that they didn't have back in the 60s. The Apollo spacecraft on display at the Kennedy Space Center's Apollo Saturn V complex was the backup for the Apollo Soyuz test project, but never flew. It is the only one that exists intact in the United States. What makes this historic artifact so significant to the Constellation program are the housing components located between the command and service modules. Inside the protection of the housing is an umbilical cord that was used to provide communication, electrical, and life support connections to the Apollo astronauts in the crew compartment. The team gathered at Kennedy to inspect the Apollo Age capsule because of its similarity to the Orion crew compartment. In the Apollo days, a mechanism like a guillotine or high-powered scissors cut through the umbilical, severing all the tubes and wires separating the command and service modules before the crew came back to Earth. But at that time, the capsule wasn't reusable. The goal for the new crew exploration vehicle connection is reusability. A few umbilical drawings found at the National Archives in Fort Worth, Texas, gave the engineers a roadmap to what they were seeking. They worked with surgical precision to remove the housing, an aluminum box about the size of a file cabinet, sometimes using only their gloved fingertips for tools. Every action was photographed, videotaped, and documented. It was very worthwhile to do this, and we, it's, you know, it made the drawings come to life. The next generation crew module will be larger and more technologically advanced, but a lot of the information that comes from this inspection will be combined with the old design that worked for the Apollo days. Uh, it was very important to see how they built the Apollo umbilical mechanism uh, because, well, it worked many times, and uh, instead of reinventing the wheel on Orion, it's good to start with something that we know worked. So it was a very valuable experience to come down here and that I can use to improve my design.